The first step today is to make a hypothesis about what you predict the answer to your research question will be. As you may remember from the last session, your research question is, where will more caterpillars be attacked by birds? On plants with adaptation one or plants with adaptation two? So a hypothesis is a prediction about what you think the answer to your research question will be based on what you know about a system. There's a specific process that we follow when we make a hypothesis. So before we jump into making one for your research question, let's use an example from another study here at Crystal Cove State Park as practice. A few years ago, we were trying to restore an area of Crystal Cove State Park back to coastal sage scrub by planting the seedlings or baby plants of native coastal sage scrub species. But when we were walking around the area, we noticed there were a lot of rabbit droppings. So we were worried that the rabbits who are herbivores or plant eaters might be eating the seedlings before they got big enough to survive. We wondered if maybe planting seedlings would have a better chance of growing and surviving if we put fences up around them to keep the rabbits out. In order to test this and see if it was true, we asked the question, where will more seedlings survive? In areas with fences or areas without fences? So to make a hypothesis to answer this question, we followed a specific format. Part one is if. Here you describe what you would do to test your hypothesis. Part two is then, and that's where you describe what we think will happen. Part three is because, and that's how we describe what we think will happen. So our hypothesis that year was that if we planted some seedlings with fences and some seedlings without fences and count how many survived, we predict that more of the seedlings in fenced areas would survive because in the unfenced areas, the rabbits would be able to get the seedlings and eat them. Go ahead and move on to the next slide to see what our hypothesis format looks like with this sentence frame. Then look back at the models you made in the last session and see if you can make a hypothesis for your research question to predict what you think will happen.